Rescue's Crypto Cave here. Um, I recently ordered a Xilinx board for my S19J Pro. Uh, it is supposed to be delivered today. Uh, so in preparation for that, uh, I am going to download and flash the Brains OS uh, to an SD card, uh, which I already have on my laptop here. The, uh, the 16 gig, they recommend like around 8, 8 to 16, somewhere around, not to go over uh, 16. But the, the recommend the SDHC versions, not the SDXC. Um, so that's what I have. And just go, you basically to get started, you just go to Brains. Uh, you get Brains OS on the top here. Download now. And it'll be an S19 model. SD card image is what I want. I already did download this, but I'll just do it again. And the one that you want is this run from SD version download download anyway and we're just going to save it again as you see it's up there from before as well so I got it twice but oh well doesn't make a difference so I'm actually going to go into my folder Assuming that is the file that we're gonna, we're gonna flash. So I'm just gonna extract all. Sure. Now I go down to uh, Belina Etcher, common program used by a lot of miners for flashing Hive OS and things like that. Uh, so I'm going to go flash from file and go into downloads. It's the unzipped one. It's the image file. Open. Select target. My SDHC card. 16 gig. Select. And flash. Now this shouldn't take too long. Well, it gives me a prompt. Yes. Should only take a few minutes. Uh, it's only 16 gigs. Oh, crap. It's done already. Uh, the file was only like 158 megs compressed, so it's probably 100 and some megs. So that went really, really quick. As you get the notification bottom corner, it was successfully flashed. Now I just have to wait for my Xilinx board to get here and uh, get that installed, which I'll, uh, I'll shoot some video of that. Um, everything that I've seen so far, that looks relatively easy. Uh, just basically disconnect the wires, a couple screws, slides out, slide the new one back in, and plug everything back in. And then the SD, it has the SD card slot, so uh, that's where I'll put the SD card that I just flashed in, and the S19 will boot from that instead of the firmware on the actual device. Now, if I ever wanted to go back to factory firmware, I just have to remove the SD card, and that's it. It makes no changes on uh, the device itself. It's going to run everything from the SD card. So once that board gets here, uh, FedEx is supposed to deliver it by 8 p.m. tonight. I'm hoping it comes sooner than that. Uh, they were just here. I just had my Chewy order delivered for my dogs, but I was hoping that the board would be on the same shipment. But I guess they're going to send a second truck today to my house. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. you think they would uh, coordinate that a little bit better instead of making two trips to the same location in the same day. But hey... What do I know? But we'll catch you, catch you later when the uh, car gets here and I start doing the install. Well, my Xilinx board has come in from Kaboom Racks and also Amazon drops off my replacement AC Infinity Controller 69 Pro. So I'm gonna go out in the shed and shut down the S19 and get these installed and see how she hashes. Alrighty, we're out in the shed. Time to shut down the S19 and get the Xilinx board installed along with the new controller 69. Hopefully that one doesn't glitch out. If it does, I'm just gonna stick to the uh, 
manual controller that I have hooked up now. Uh, but we'll see how it goes, and we'll go from there. But temps in the shed right now, 77 on the intake side, 85 there, 96 up there. Actually, what I'm here, another thing I was even thinking about um, as far as airflow and maybe containing it to keep it from going up high is maybe do almost like a drop ceiling type deal with, uh, I have a bunch of three quarter inch or one inch, I think it's one inch uh, foam insulation board uh, down the basement when I did the mining room in the basement that I could uh, basically just put some two by four pieces around and just basically put the pieces up almost like a drop ceiling and see how that works. Maybe instead of having the air go up, just keep it lower anyway and uh, reduce the amount of cubic feet that it has to exhaust. But then I'd also have to uh, lower the light as well, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. But anyway, getting sidetracked. Just every time I come out here, I get different ideas, but let's get working on this guy and uh, probably take a few clips as I'm taking it apart. Just to show you the guts of it, not that nobody's never seen them, but content, right? All right, I get the cover popped off. All the cables disconnected. I did make sure and take a picture of everything so I know exactly which place where everything was about where. The Xalates board has a fourth uh, port right here where you can plug stuff in, but that one's going to get left empty. And this basically just slides right out. Here is the Xilinx board. See, All right there's the SD slot. That's what we need. The only thing I did notice, this cover I won't be able to put back on, so I'll have to keep that there just because the slots are different. But shouldn't be no, any big deal. I might do have to take off the pan spoofers and put them onto the new board as well. So I'm gonna get working on that and then I'll button her back up and get her hashing. Alrighty, got our power back on. I have a fault light, which is to be expected because I didn't go inside and set everything up yet. Uh, but it's powered on. Controller 69 is installed. I left that one there just in case that one acts up too. Because if that one acts up, I'm going to send it back, get my money back, and just kind of just roll with that one. So I'll go in and get her set up, and we'll see you there. Alrighty, I got in here in the computer, figured out the IP. It did change with the different OS. Login's the same. So you got root, root. Sure, why not save it? Go into configurations. Yeah, let's see, I forget what the heck. I know what it is. Trying to name it the same. Oops, where are my workers at? Dash one oh four. Copy that, put that here as well. Go back to dashboard. And where do we restart this bad boy? System.
go to dark mode. It's not in there. Quick actions. Restart. There we go. So we're going to give this a bit and we'll be right back. Looks like we're back online. As you can see on the right hand side with the real hash rate, it's slowly ramping up. It's going through a testing phase, it looks like. Let's go in here to edit performance and see what we got. Enable auto tuning. Power target. We'll stick with that because that's about the stock power usage. So let's see if we can get some more hash rate out of the same power. Temperature and fans, what we got in here? Oh, this is where you can set all your fans as far as dangerous temps where it will shut down. Uh, hot temps where it gives you a warning. If I didn't have the fan spoofers on, I'd have to do this enable immersion mode. Um, but the fan spoofers will uh, uh, take care of that. Pools, we were just in there. Go back to dashboard. And it's still slowly ramping up. Well, I understand this could take up to six to eight hours, so I'm gonna let it go for now. See how it does, and I'll do a follow-up video tomorrow. Alrighty, thanks for watching guys. Take care.